Just a summer friend. I pull up to your crib every time I miss you, and I love to hear your voice sound like an instrumental. We can't say nothing by the real. Bluetooth mode. One, five, eight. Hello Internet, this is Billy Wong from Fast Power. Today we're going to do an FAQ video about this solar radio. Uh, the first question we get a lot is about how long does it take to recharge this unit through the solar panel. Now uh, this solar panel is kind of small so it only takes about 15 milliamp of input to recharge this unit. Uh, if using the solar panel it would take about days to actually recharge the unit. So the actual uh, function of the solar panel is actually to slow down the power dissipation of the unit and not so much to recharge the unit. To recharge the unit properly, uh, the best way I recommend is to use the micro USB port uh, on the back of the unit here. Uh, make sure you have the right cable. Um, this port is not for recharge, but this port is. 
and then also the hand crank. So, like that. All right, move on to question number two. Why isn't my phone charging even after I plug in the cable? So guys, um, when you plug in the cable, make sure you choose the right cable, of course, the first thing. And then second thing is make sure it's plugged into the right direction. So this is the port that charges your phone or your devices. Um, and then after that, you need to go to the underside of the unit and make sure that it's switched to the very bottom uh, position, which shows the lightning and the phone uh, symbol. Once you switch that, then you're good to go. All right, let's move on to the third question. What is the SOS switch on the underside of the unit, uh, and how do you turn on the emergency flasher? Does it actually send any uh, SOS signal? So this is the SOS button on the underside of the unit. So when you do that, it sounds a siren and it's flashing. It does not actually send any SOS signal to any first responders. All right, let's move on to question number four. Does the radio alert me when there's an emergency weather broadcast? So yes, um, you will have to make sure that you switch it to weather bent and turn on your volume and tune to your local channel. Then you should be good. Uh, let's move on to question number five. Is there a way to manually turn on or off the reading light? Uh, the answer is actually no. The reading light is right here, um, actually underneath the solar, uh, the solar panel. So uh, to turn it on, you just flip the panel and then turn it off. You just flip the panel back into its position, then it will be turned off. All right, let's move on to question number six. How do I know when the radio is fully charged? So uh, a lot of people actually miss this one. Um, I'm going to show you, I'm going to charge the unit through the micro USB port. And as you can see, there is a indicator right here. Uh, if, if it's showing red, that means it's charging the unit. Uh, when it's fully charged, it will turn green. Uh, and this indicator is not to tell you that you're charging your device, but it's actually recharging this unit here. Question seven, I insert AAA batteries, but the radio still does not have power. Um, okay, so for this one, Actually, there is a switch here that tells you uh, which power source it's using. So right now it's set to lithium ion. And if you want to use the AAA batteries for your power source, make sure you switch it to AAA. And you're good to go. Question number eight. The radio has a lot of static noise. So um, sometimes people miss this too. There is actually a built-in antenna right here. Just make sure you extend it out. Um, and you can actually adjust it to whatever direction to tune. All right, let's move on to question number nine. The flashlight seems to be widespread and not uh, bright enough. So um, there's a knob here that we can actually turn to change the focal length of the light and it will make it uh, a little bit more focused and brighter. Let me demonstrate it for you. So right now, as you can see, it's more widespread. If I turn the knob a little bit, and that's more focused and brighter. Last question, question number 10. Is this unit waterproof? This unit is not waterproof, but it is water resistant, so you can't actually submerge this into water, but rain and spills is fine. So that wraps up our FAQ session. If you have any more additional questions, please remember to ask in the comment down below, and we'll try our best to answer it. Thanks for watching.
Oh, my God.